Hello, welcome back to Brenda Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm going to share with you one of my kind of research. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. It's basically, I want Blender to be able to somewhat generate um, like a music uh, notations or like generate some kind of uh, music, whether it's uh, uh, think of it like uh, in the in terms of frequency or notes. I don't know, um, the terminology is still, most of them kind of uh, new for me, even though I used to learn music a little bit. But anyway, this is the this is the setup that I did using Sphere Chalk. Um, so basically the idea here is, um, it's not real time yet, it's not, um, so we cannot um, output uh, like real time music from Blender and export it as a wave yet but this is uh, I'm working more in the in the mid like uh, I try to generate MIDI using Sphere Um maybe before I continue talking I'll just show you the demo first so we have the visualization here in 3D and then we have uh, what do you call this video sequence editor kind of loading the wave so, like I said, it's not real time yet, but believe uh, believe me that um, this music, this uh, 32 notations music is generated um, using Blender and Sphere Chalk add-on. This is basically based on vector noise, standard Perlin, and we have 32. I set it up so we kind of spit out 32 number of MIDI notations, and each one of them is still like a in the same uh, kind of length for each notation. So I'll play this a couple of times. So it's kind of playing in sync. Um, I actually manually, I manually tweak it until this sound is uh, in sync with the, with the MIDI. If I play it back and scrub it, So that's kind of like almost fully in sync. Um, yeah, so I actually custom custom the frame rate into eight frame per second until this is kind of this worked perfectly. So um, yeah, I'll explain what's actually going on. So in Spreadshop, I tell it to generate numbers, thirty-two numbers, and we can have it from vector noise or random number so it doesn't matter and this is um, with a vector noise I need to map it to between any kind of minimum and maximum value so it will kind of generate um, 32 notations and it's gonna output it and dump it into this text so at any time I could make any changes and then it's gonna update the this not notes for us the frequency will change based on this setup so if I actually randomize the seed you can see um, these notes actually ch changing but like I said it's not it's not on the fly yet but I can actually export this out um, currently I'm using a module called music 21 and this is how it looks like and I'm using this uh, pineapple just so we can see the whole thing in the like uh, some kind of notes like this interactive notes um, yeah I think uh, basically this modu uh, module called music 21 is from MIT and this is one of Python module that that I think works really well with the uh, if you want to generate um, MIDI or music using uh, programming language and using Python in this case you can for example give it a list like this D4, D4, E4 whatever and then you can quickly show the notations like this and then you can quickly save it as MIDI etc etc and for what we are doing here I'm setting the duration of the notes the same for for this is like the 16th we can set it to quarter half whatever 
uh, we can randomize uh, we can actually use Python to generate random uh, nodes here we don't need to use Spherechalk but I like using Spherechalk because it's gonna show me the result right away and everything is uh, quite visual for me so like I said yeah I can make any kind of uh, kind of like a music pattern here you can see it here but we can't listen to it unless we bake it somehow so this is the, the dump if we dump this out we dump the value out and I just copy it and then paste it into this guy my list my list equal the dump value so it's like I said it's currently it's a bit silly it's a bit stupid I mean it's not like real time yet but now I'm running this script, this is Python script, basically creating this uh, stream of music and this is 32 notations that we pass in and then it's uh, using Python here, uh, Python loop is just telling it for each and, and every this of these uh, notations, put it into the stream and then show it as, uh, what do you call it, musical notation like this. It's gonna take a few seconds. It's actually faster if I'm not recording. So as a result, we're gonna have uh, if we save it, write it out as a MIDI. We can then bring it back into Blender as a wave file. Let's uh, hopefully this actually works. Somehow it's taking quite a while. Maybe because we are recording. So like I said, well, well I. I actually can make this kind of real time if I'm using a Sonic Pi or Chuck module. Okay, there you go. There's the result you can see. And all we need to do is just to save it out, save it out as uh, this file name. Um, let's try to plot this as well, and let let it do the work. And then let's open our MIDI test out 003 e. That's the name of the file. Dot MIDI. And I'll open it and then it will open in a, in this app called Muse something. Muse score. Yeah, this Muse score is actually an app that's generating this uh, musical notations. It's very, very cool. And this is actually plotting the the MIDI notations. If you remember, if you look at this guy, it's actually this is um, plotting the MIDI in in this way. So this is kind of nicer. This is a bit nicer than the one in Spreadshop. But of course, in Blender we can scrub and then we can change this visualization into anything. Maybe like Suzanne had here. Okay, this is uh, the thing open in this Muse score app. We can play, play back. So that's the new uh, musical pattern. We can export it out as WAV file. Save. And once this, this is done, we can go back to Blender. And then here, oops, yeah, here we can point into our new wave file open sound and it's already baked back to this guy this should should be the video sequence editor and let's play it Yeah, I think it's pretty, it's pretty much in sync, I think. Um, by default, I think this, this is generating piano sound. I'm not sure how to change it yet. Um, I think this, this app is tend to crash somehow on my computer. Doesn't matter, but uh, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much what I want to show you. Um, really. We can, like I said, we can use anything, a standard Perlin, we can change it to Blender, 
noise I think water noise is kind of interesting I have not tried with a cell noise cell noise that's kind of funky I kind of wonder how this looks um, when we generate it copy and then just paste it into this guy delete this and paste it so this is giving me this quoted okay now let's wait a bit it's gonna take a few seconds again so I, uh, at some point I guess I want this to be real time but when it's when it's real time um, currently um, there's some kind of a latency or kind of delay sometimes um, and un unless uh, maybe search of developer can help to kind of make a make a system where we can kind of send um, send code into program like Chuck or Sonic Pi with, with very little latency like and then it's kind of um, we can generate it in real time but like I said um, if it's like a MIDI it's pretty much like uh, everything is pretty much fixed so it's easier actually it doesn't need to be real time real time can give you latency and delay but uh, things like MIDI if it's a uh, It's simpler I guess and we are we are really sure that this guy will will be in sync with our, our animations once everything is set like this uh, we don't need to change anything just keeps changing the musical pattern and then just generate it kind of uh, generate it's kind of like baking it 3f if we out, output this I think if we output this test out 003 F no result huh, interesting pineapple files so this guy open with new score We can actually use a uh, QuickTime Player 7. I'm trying to match it manually. Yeah, apparently it, it will not work because apparently the, the MIDI has some kind of uh, rest at the beginning. Uh, but that's basically the music being generated by this cell noise function so that's I think pretty nice I'll try to match it There you go. I think we just need to time it. Well, once we are we are um, we have everything set like this. Uh, whatever, like a new pattern being generated, we can basically export and bake this as a uh, MIDI music. So yeah, the, that's the setup. Um, yeah, I think I can give you this this note setup. This this notations using music 21 also something that I can I can give to you as a Python code uh, actually not this the other one 
but anyway that's um that's it that's uh, like uh, the demo i want to share with you um i guess at some point we'll be able to generate sound and music from blender like um even cooler like say if you have like a physical like a like a dynamic system or particles and you want to hit the right notes um somehow you you create these simulations that uh, kind of make a hit point and then you want to generate music or sound noise based on that kind of hit um i guess that could be more interesting um rather than having just a vector noise or things like that but i think yeah there's a whole lot of possibilities if you're using python and generate music whether it's random or based on noise or based on something else visualize maybe visualize an image for example so how how does an image sound like you know yeah so yeah maybe that's for the f for the near future uh, anyway that's pretty much it for this live noting hopefully you like it uh, and this is useful for you and if you have any comments feedback just let me know down below I'll